Hi, Craig Turner here with First Priority Financial. I'm here today with Monica Breckenridge from Pink Realty. We're here to talk about short sales and tell you what they are. So Monica, what is a short sale? Well, Craig, a short sale is when a homeowner who is usually behind on payments wants to sell their house to avoid foreclosure, but they don't have enough equity to be able to sell their house. Okay. So we get a contract on the property and we submit it to the bank for less than what you owe on the property and the bank will accept that to avoid foreclosure. Okay. In most instances, for sure. So yes. now th I know there are different types of foreclosure, or, excuse me, short sales. Mm -hmm. What are the different types of short sales? Well, every loan type has a different program. You've got the VA loans, FHA loans, and conventional loans. With a uh, conventional loan, if you apply for a short sale within 90 days of your foreclosure auction, you can be eligible to receive up to $3,000 to sell your house. Ooh, cash for keys! It's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Um, if you don't qualify for the half a program, you can just do a regular short sale, but unfortunately you won't get any money unless your bank offers you money to do a short sale. Okay. Um, then we've got the VA short sales. Okay. VA short sales, you can be behind or current to do a short sale. And the reason why is because a lot of our VAs, they get transferred to another state or they get overseas orders. So that's an added bonus for people with VAs if they need to sell their house when it's underwater. That's right. That's right. And they will actually get $1,500 to sell their house. Oh, cash for keys again. Yes. There you go. So And FHA. And FHA. FHA. With FHA, you have to, it has to be your primary residence and you cannot have moved out more than 18 months ago. Okay. So it can't be an investment property. It can't be a second home. It had to have been your primary residence. Yes. And if you moved out more than 18 months ago, then you don't qualify for that $1,500? bucks. No, FHA is a little bit different. Oh. It's the pre-foreclosure sell program is what it's called. And if you qualify for this program, you'll get $1,000 oh, to sell okay. your house. Okay. And if that's within 90 days. That's if, within 90 days. If you sell it after 90 days, it goes down to 750 Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so once you've negotiated the short sale and you've negotiated a balance that's lower than what they owe, what happens to the unpaid balance? That's a good question. People ask me that all the time. Okay. Well, I wanted to let you know first that there's an unpaid balance with a foreclosure and with a short sale. However, okay. it's always better to do a short sale because we negotiate that unpaid balance to be settled in full. So the bank cannot ask you to repay that balance. Okay. Whereas if you just do a foreclosure and you let the house go, there's an unpaid balance and the bank could ask you to repay that balance. So. Okay. Um, and okay. with a lot of our short sales, like FHA, it's okay. already automatic that they did not come after them. Oh, for, really? Well, that's a good thing that it's automatic these it's days. It's automatic with FHA. Right. Now, so the bank would probably issue a 1099 or something like that. They will issue a 1099, and a 1099 is going to be considered income for you. But there's a law that President Bush passed in 2007 called the Tax Forgiveness Debt Relief Act. And I know you had a really awesome video about that that yeah. explains the whole process. Yeah. Most so, of our homeowners do qualify for that, by the way. Right. So look for that video on the on the, on the, on the Forgiveness Act. Um, it's right on our website. And, and that is a good program because it's been extended through 2000 and... I don't know the date, but it has been extended. So it was going to expire December 2012. Now it's been extended. We'll get you that date in the future. Um, now, once you've done the short sale and you want to buy another house, there are a number of ways you can do that. And time frames for buying those homes typically are all over the board. For a VA loan that you're current on, you can buy a home right away. That's nice. Yes. Uh, conventional loans range anywhere from two years to seven years, again, depending on your down payment. And an FHA loan is typically around that two to three year time frame also. Uh, Things change on a daily basis, so journal information here and give us a call. We'd be happy to help you. Monica, how do they find you? You can call me at 719-393-PINK, and that's 393-7465, and our website is pinkrealty.com. Alrighty, and this is Craig Turner with First Priority Financial. You can find us at 719-473-6398, and our website is firstpriorityfinancial.co. So again, firstpriorityfinancial.co. Uh, and you can watch all of our videos right there. Again, this is Craig Turner with First Priority Financial, where our clients are our first priority.